Millions of dollars worth of critical jobs, construction projects, and education funding hanging in the balance as lawmakers work late into the night. Thank you for joining us tonight at 10. I'm Liz Collin. Despite a marathon weekend at the state capitol, lawmakers have yet to reach a deal on the critical bonding bill. Now, with less than two hours to go, it appears the Minnesota legislature is heading for a special session. This evening, the Senate failed to pass a bonding bill worth $998 million. Our Jeff Wagner is live at the Capitol tonight with what happens next and how other bills have fared. Jeff? Liz, it's like deja vu in a sense. Yesterday, the House failed to pass its, its bonding bill in similar fashion, and with neither side finding some middle ground, hundreds of projects and the jobs associated with them are in limbo. Thank you, Mr. President. Members, uh, as lawmakers work against the clock to pass bills on the final day of the 2020 session, Senate Majority Leader Paul Gazelka said a flurry of negotiations was also happening to find a middle ground on a bonding bill. Opposed, say no. The DFL controlled House was pushing for $2 billion, while the Republican controlled Senate wanted to spend roughly half that amount. Senator, has there been agreement reached between you and the majority in the House on the size of a bonding bill? Yes, but I'm not going to tell you. Why not? because I'm trying to work with the two minorities as well. Whatever that agreement was didn't come to fruition late Sunday. The Senate failed to pass its $998 million bonding bill, and the issue now awaits further discussion in a special session. Joining it will be a dispute over raises for nearly 50,000 state workers, which was approved last year. But because of the projected deficit Minnesota is now facing due to the pandemic, the Senate late Saturday night voted to freeze workers' salaries, meaning they wouldn't get a raise until next summer. Last week, the House voted in favor of the contract. Despite those two major disagreements, there were a few bipartisan wins this session. The legislature passed the emergency insulin bill, giving Minnesotans with diabetes affordable access to the life-saving medication. They also quickly agreed on $500 million of COVID-19 relief spending. In roughly three weeks, a special session is expected to happen regarding the governor's extension of his state of emergency declaration. Governor Tim Walz also tomorrow morning will hold a media briefing to discuss the end of the 2020 session. All right, Jeff Wagner live at the state capitol tonight. Jeff, thank you.